This is uh, pre-calculus, topic four, and we are um, taking a peek at the backside of the topic four practice assessment. So these are the first three of the solve the, solve the equation, and notice we're supposed to round to three decimal places. All right, so I just like to take a little stock with these problems first. I notice I'm in degrees, and I notice that my period, since there's no multiplier in here, is, is 360 degrees. So um, this one-fourth tangent theta equals 5. I want to get tangent alone, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So I have tangent of theta is 20. So let me inverse tangent. On my calculator. And since I am in degrees, I better make sure that my calculator is in degree mode first which it is. So I'm going to go inverse tangent of 20. And I get about 87.138. And I said 1 and I wrote a 3. 87.138 degrees. Now this is tangent. And remember, tangent is a steepness. So what I just found is this angle right here, the 87 degrees. I want to find that angle too, which is going to be 180 plus that. So this is a, this is also 180, 180 degrees plus whatever that is. So that means kind of my preliminary angles are this 87.138 degrees. And then if I add 180 to that, I'll get about uh, 267 and 138 degrees. All right, so that's great. Um, and notice that if I add 360 to these, I'm going to be outside of that range. So I'm going to subtract 360 from them both. So I know I know that I have this, and I now have this as answers. And to get my, my two answers that come before that, I'm going to subtract 360 from this and subtract 360 from that. Because of the period 360, that's when it repeats itself. So this one minus 360 gives me negative 92.862. And then this one, minus 360, gives me negative 272.862 degrees. And I can check those by putting them into my calculator. And I'm plugging them back in and make sure that it makes this equal 5. Or something close to 5. Next problem, similar. Um, degrees, periods 360. So I'm going to solve it out. So subtract 7 from both sides. 4 times sine theta is negative 2. Divide by 4. Sine theta equals negative 1 half. So make sure your calculator is in degrees. And go arc sine to negative 1 half. I get negative 30. That is pretty as heck. Negative 30 degrees. I only have to round it out to three decimal places. Um, let me think about what I found here. I found this negative 30 degrees right here. So sine's about height, so my other angle would be here, which should be um, 180 minus that. Or 180 plus the 30 degrees. And that is 210. So my preliminary angles that I found are negative 30 degrees and 210 degrees. But notice, look, I only want answers between 0 and 720. So the negative 30 actually doesn't do me any good. I'm going to add 360 to that. Uh, so I have 210. I add 360 to negative 30. I got 330. I'm going to add 360 to that. Add 360 to that. I get 570 here, and I get 690 here. Good stuff. All right, last one from this group. Um, I'm in radians. No multiplier, so my period's too pi. So I'm going to make sure my calculator is in radians. Check. So let's back my 10. 15 times cos theta is negative 6. Divide by 15. Cosine of theta is negative 6 fifteenths, which I sure could reduce if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to inverse cosine of that. 
negative 6 fifteenths. If I put that into my calculator, I get about 1.982. Now it's in radians. Um, if I think about what I'm finding, I'm finding that angle right there. Cosines, uh, no, I'm not. I'm finding this angle right here, cosines width. There's my negative whatever. So I want to find this angle um, as well, which would be 2 pi minus that, whatever that is. 2 pi minus that answer. Is, sorry, had a little calculator problem. 1.982. Uh, 4.301. So I have 1.982. I have 4.301. And it knows if I add 2 pi to these, I'll be outside of my range. So I'm going to subtract 2 pi from each of these. Subtract it from that. Subtract it from that. I get my other two values. This one is negative 4.301. This one is negative 1.982. And shove them back in your calculator to check them. Make sure that they work.